Welcome back to another DAX for Power BI tutorial. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. In today's video, we're going to work with nested if statements. If statements are really handy in case you need to evaluate a lot of cases, so let's go ahead and dive into it. So our data is pretty simple. We have a list of names here and we have a list of salaries as well. So we're going to use if statements to evaluate different cases, basically looking at different salary ranges and assigning values based on those salary ranges. So let's go ahead and bring in a table and we'll throw in name and salary. And we're going to make those values a little bit bigger so that we can see them. So we'll make this 16 and we'll make the values 14 just to make it a little more viewable. And we're going to sort by salary uh, ascending. Um, okay, great. So now let's go ahead and create a new measure. So we're just going to create a new, we're going to call it if measure. And we are going to start with if. And basically if takes three parameters, it takes a logical test that you like to evaluate for. And then it takes a result if that condition is true. And it takes an optional parameter if that result condition is false. So let's go ahead and start with the first one. Our logical test, we're going to test if the sum of the salary is less than or equal to 50,000. We are just going to provide it with a number, we'll provide it with a 1. And since the result if false parameter is optional, we won't add it for now. So let's go ahead and create that and throw in the if measure. So we see these first two values get a value of 1 and everything else gets nothing since we didn't provide, uh, we didn't provide a value if that condition was not met. Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger and we'll bring this down. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and add a result if false condition. So let's go ahead and give that a two. So every other value will get a two, including the, um, including the column sum. So if we want to nest an if statement, we can throw it in the else condition, meaning if sum of your salary is less than or equal to 50,000, you get this one value. But if it's not, we can give it another if statement and create a nested if. So if, let's say salary, sum of salary is greater than or equal to 90,000, we'll give that a two, else we'll give it a three. Um, and go ahead and click enter. So you see now when that first condition is not met, it goes on to the second condition and says, if the sum of the salary is greater than 90,000, give it a two. So you get these two right here, else give it a three. So you have these three. We can take that one step further and nest another time. So if we add another if statement, and let's say some, um, actually let's change that. Let's say if name first, non blank of name uh, comma one because we need that second parameter equals let's say uh, Mike equals Mike let's give a value of uh, 12 else we will give a value of 4 so let's go ahead and click enter and see what we come up with so if you follow this through the entire step, if the salary is less than 50,000, give it a one. If, that doesn't, if that's not true, let's go ahead and evaluate the next if. If the sum of salary is greater than or equal to 90,000, we'll give it a two. That's where you get these two values. And then else, the last condition, if the name is Mike, we'll give it a 12, else we'll give it a four. That's why Tom gets a four. So you can keep going like this uh, for as long as you want. Uh, every else condition, you can add another if statement. If you find yourself using a lot of if statements, you can uh, use the switch function instead, which handles a lot of cases very nicely. But in case you only have a few, an if statement is pretty easy to follow because it's just a condition, a result if true, and then a result if false. But the result if false can be nested with another if. So a uh, quick lesson today, but if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next DAX for Power BI video.